democracy, faith and patience. These are the kind of words being used by Joe Biden, not just in press conferences, but also on social media. As he appeals for calm and the Associated Press projections put him just six electoral college votes away from the White House. Now, of course, any claims by Democrats online that he has already won this election, they are premature and misleading. We know that vote counting is still underway in key states like Pennsylvania, Nevada and Georgia. But contrast those words of calm to what is being put on the Twitter feed of his Republican rival, the President Donald Trump. It is just Twitter label after Twitter label as the Republicans make continual unfounded claims of election fraud and essentially that the Democrats are trying to steal the vote from them. Now, this has continued well into Friday morning as the president now has taken a direct stab at Twitter, saying that they are out of control for labeling his tweets about election fraud. A lot of Republicans, senators and representatives are joining him now in their change of message. Instead of stop the count, now Republicans are saying to count every legal vote. But one Republican I would like to draw your attention to is Adam Kinziger. He has posted on Twitter saying that any candidate from the Democrats or the Republicans or indeed any citizen who has any legitimate evidence or concerns about fraud should present evidence to this in the courts. What they should not do is spread debunked misinformation online saying that the internet in saying that the situation is essentially becoming insane. Now, one example of this were claims that were made on social media that, for example, in Detroit, people were boarding up windows outside a polling station as a lack of transparency. However, in a statement to Euronews, it was confirmed by the Detroit Corporation Council that this was because there were people inside the polling station, workers who were making complaints about the fact that people could photograph and film them from outside, something that only the media is allowed to do. And these are the fresh concerns, the fact that misinformation spreading online is now transcending onto the streets into protests outside polling stations, but also on the streets. Another example of this from that state in Michigan was the fact that the Attorney General had to post on Twitter encouraging citizens not to threaten or harass polling workers, saying that they continue to doing a kind and hard-working job. Rosie, misinformation is continuing to surge and it is now transcending from social media and from the online world onto the streets and having real world consequences.